Today we're going to talk about what we're doing for Delphi in 64-bit Windows and also what you can do to get ready. So first, a little about 64-bit computing and what it means for programmers. When you're in the 32-bit world, an integer is an integer, a long int is a long int, and a cardinal, all three are still 32 bits. Uh, integer 64 and unsigned integer are still 64 bits. Unicode string, ANSI string, wide string still behave like they do in Delphi XE. And using the try block, the try accept end and try finally end, the exception handling is the same, so your code can stay the same. And the runtime library and all the the, the standard units, sysutils, classes, math, all of those things are the same in 32-bit and will be the same in 64-bit. And if we take a look at the different data types between 32-bit and 64-bit, the arrow shows you that it's the same in 32-bit and 64-bit. So all the signed types and the unsigned types, all your code that deal with those will be exactly the same. So what's different? If you use native int and native unsigned it, on 64-bit, those will be 64-bit values. And on 32-bit, they'll be 32-bit values. All the pointers will be 8-byte pointers in 64-bit windows and 4-byte pointers in 32-bit windows. Uh, dynamic arrays will be 64-bit in 64-bit Delphi on windows. Floating point math will be double precision or 8 bytes in 64-bit. This slide just shows you the difference in 32-bit Delphi and 64-bit Delphi as it relates to the native integers and unsigned integers. And all the different pointer types, including uh, pointers and strings, which are really pointers to strings, and interfaces and Unicode strings and procedure pointers are all 4-byte in 32-bit Delphi, 8 bytes in 64-bit Delphi. If we look at the, at the CPU level, uh, notice we have uh, 64-bit pointers in the program counter on 64-bit processor versus 32-bit. Uh, so the compiler has been modified to create a 32-bit version of Delphi compiler and a 64-bit version of Delphi compiler. Delphi 64 will give you the 64-bit address space. So depending on the physical hardware that you have and how much memory you have, and you'll be able to access as much memory as you need to in the 64-bit version of Delphi versus what you were limited to in 32-bit Windows. And there's links at the bottom of this slide to information from Microsoft about 32-bit and 64-bit windows and, and migration of applications. So be sure to check out those documents as you're preparing to look forward to the release of Delphi for 64-bit. And I should also note that, that Intel's processors for some time now have really been 64-bit processors, just that Windows 32-bit was only using uh, that core Intel instruction set and not the 64-bit extensions. So what does all this mean for Delphi and what is it going to mean to you? And don't panic, you know, from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, no matter what, the compiler and the runtime library and the VCL are being modified to make the migration from 32-bit to 64-bit as easy as possible. Let's take a look at a little bit of what you can do in Delphi for 64-bit, just a little uh, preview. So I'll say File, New, and start a VCL Forms application. And we can build the, the standard starting Delphi application that's been built since Delphi 1. And this is the famous button edit box list box, and I'm using ID Insight inside the ID to bring up components in this case by typing their name. Let's, uh, let's add an event handler for the button. The event handler for the button click, uh, the first statement I'm going to take the contents of the edit box and add it to the list box. And then I'm going to also change the button caption to be the size of a pointer converting that to a string and putting it in the caption. It's a 32-bit Windows application. Uh, it stored the text in the list box and then displayed the size of the standard pointer. Since this was 32-bit Windows, uh, it put the value 4 which was the size of the default pointer for 32-bit windows. Now you'll notice in the project window, we still have our build configurations for debug, release, and 
other build configurations and option sets you might set up for your project. Here's the source code for my application and the form file. You'll notice a new node in the project window for this 64-bit, 32-bit version of Delphi called Target Platforms. And when I expand the Target Platforms, it says that the default project was a 32-bit Windows project. In order to add 64-bit capability to this project, I'll simply right mouse click on the Target Platform node and click on Add Platform. And now it shows me that my two choices are 32-bit and 64-bit windows. So I'll add 64-bit windows as a second target platform for my VCL project. I'll enable it by double-clicking or right mouse click and, uh, and activating it. And I'll simply hit run, which will cause a compile and the execution. So here we go again. Click the Add button. Notice it takes the edit box, adds the text to the list box, just as it did before, and that now the caption of the button has been changed to be the size of the pointer, which is now 8 bytes, because I'm running a 64-bit Windows project. In many cases, once you have 64-bit versions of the product, your package files, your components. Just add the target platform for 64-bit to your existing projects. Choose it, hit run. This is one of the demos that comes with Delphi XE uh, that does flow styles in a flow panel. And again, I have 32-bit and 64-bit target platform. So the 32-bit windows version and the 64-bit version. And again, just with a recompile. If you're doing graphics programming, here's a, our Asteroids example from Delphi XE. Here's the 32. Oh, I already died. And 64-bit version. Compiles. In database world, DB Express and Interbase Express will be supported for 64-bit. In this case, I can set a, a version inside of inside of my project or data explorer and in my DBX drivers INI and DBX connections INI. And we have a, a new entry called vendor lib win64. Or in the case of Interbase, I can specify the DLL, which is the Interbase 64-bit client DLL. And then I also have the 32-bit version, uh, GDS32.dll for 32-bit. So for database programming, it's taken care of by DB Express. For multi-tier using DataSnap, uh, building web services, web applications, Again, you can just add a project node for 64-bit windows and rebuild your project. So let's take a look at uh, what is going to make your life easy as you're planning forward for the move from 32-bit to 64-bit Delphi. So the good news, it's the same Windows API, the same Delphi RTL, and the same VCL for doing development. And in many cases, it will just be a recompile of your projects. We have some new conditional defines so that if you need to do some special 32-bit versus 64-bit development, uh, you can use these uh, defines, for example, for the Win64 platform and the 64-bit CPU. But some things you should be careful of in your own code is the assumption of the size of a pointer or the size of an integer. All code that's in a 64-bit process must be 64-bit, whether it's a DLL, a, a runtime package file, or your own programs. And this means you can't mix 32-bit and 64-bit in Delphi 64. So you'll need 
to rebuild those packages for third-party components and also have 64-bit DLLs for the external non-Delphi libraries. And in Delphi 64-bit, there's only one calling convention. So all those other calling conventions we used in, in the past in 32-bit windows are simply ignored by the compiler, like register, C tackle, standard call. If you do any pointer arithmetic, you'll have to look at how that code is, is defined to make sure that you understand that pointers in 32-bit are 4 bytes and pointers in 64-bit are 8 bytes. And as long as you use size of when you're working with integers and, and pointers and so on, your code will have a good chance of working. But as always, inspecting your code that is doing pointer math or assuming the size or precision of some built-in type, take a look at that code and make sure you feel comfortable that it will work for 32-bit and 64-bit windows. If you have Pascal code that has inline assembly included, for 64-bit, you cannot mix inline assembler with Pascal code in a specific block or procedure or function. It means that you can have a function that's all assembler or all Pascal. If you have pure Delphi code, then everything works fine with assembler and with your programs and exception handling, as I mentioned, with the try blocks. If you're looking at Windows API calls that you make in your programs, for example, uh, setting a window long, uh, just make sure that uh, you're passing a long pointer instead of an integer or long int for those Windows calls. If you're sending messages to your application using the Windows send message call, make sure that you pass a long param for the address of, uh, of the message string, for example. Make sure that if you are returning the results of a message, that it's a long result or L result. If you have code where you're looking at the low-level Windows message records and you want to crack them apart into their message and their parameters, make sure that those are on record boundaries, not packed records. Make sure to look at all of your pointer casts including uh, integer casts to make sure that you don't assume a size of a pointer to an entity like integer or string. If you have ActiveX controls, uh, other DLLs, uh, third-party libraries, you'll need 64-bit versions of all of those external dependencies and libraries. And if you're using assembler uh, inside of your Pascal code or inside of functions, you should consider rewriting it to pure Pascal. That will give you portability to future chips that will move to beyond just 64-bit windows. And with the Delphi compiler's inline directive, uh, writing a function in all Pascal and then setting it inline will give you that speed and algorithmic performance that caused you maybe to explore assembly language. Everything that you can build in Delphi for 32-bit today, you'll also be able to build for 64-bit windows. If you're already a Delphi XE or Rad Studio XE customer, you can gain priority access to the Delphi 64-bit beta. Not an XE user? Upgrade to XE for priority beta access, or you can apply to be a beta tester. Come join the 64-bit fun. All the information you need is available on the Delphi 64-bit website.